Strange occurrences in his home became more and more frequent, and as a result, he has barely slept for the past two days and counting. Whoa, that's not good. Door shut, people saying turn to the right. Um, I was recording the card, the blind card, because it started moving. So people are saying, this fishing line, I don't know, I can prove it 100%. People are saying, turn to the right, because someone's there. I've closed the door, I'm doing a 360 spin. Um, someone said, take the chair out of the room to prove there's no fishing line. I don't know what I can keep doing, guys. take it all the way down there's no fishing line he attempts to analyze the chairs and the area to prove to viewers that there is no fishing wire attached and he then decides to go live and live stream the events closing the door and showing the full room to show the skeptics he then speaks to a witch on live stream about the events and she tells him that she is going to cast some black magic on it Immediately, many viewers tell him this is a bad idea and will only make things worse. But just after talking to her alone, other chilling things start to happen. Start it again, guys. What the fuck? This is since I spoke to that witch. I think this is a warning. What do you guys think? Oh, that's fucking scary. So what do you think guys? Think it's a warning? My phone went dead guys. Now it stopped. I think this is a warning guys. It's never behaved like this. It's never made noise with like this on the table. The fucking laptop was moving. It was that aggressive. The laptop, guys. Rapid tapping sounds can be heard coming from the table, and you can see the laptop shaking as it's going on. So just what is going on with the closet and this mysterious old coin? Could it be that somebody who owned the coin lost their life in the past and is now attached to it? Either way, the witch is going to visit him and attempt to get rid of it. So hopefully, we receive some more updates soon. On July 20 of 2023, a radio station in South America was airing a live broadcast that left many viewers feeling disturbed. The footage was broadcast online, so those who tuned in were totally creeped out. In the broadcast, viewers were introduced to a special guest named Antonio Zamudio, who according to the host, is someone who's had a history of paranormal experiences. Antonio talks about these experiences but when he talks about one instance involving a clown doll, the whole studio goes quiet. Viewers could tell that the atmosphere in the room had changed. Everybody was feeling unsettled, and even more so when Antonio showed footage of the clown doll. 
In the video, Antonio shows a close-up of the clown, which he says was given to him by a family who found it at a garage sale. But after they took it home, things got very strange. They decided to give it to Antonio given his experience with the paranormal. But one night, after setting up static cameras to record the doll in case anything strange happens, he captures this. Somehow, the doll moves on its own. Looking closely, it appears to move by itself at an upright position before running across the room. Understandably, Antonio was just as baffled as he was terrified. It made sense now as to why the family seemed utterly spooked about this doll. Something wasn't right with it. To this day, Antonio says that he keeps it locked up in a glass case given what happened that night. It's unknown if anything strange has happened since then. But until any updates are given, the question remains. Just how exactly did the clown doll move on its own? If you see this while you're exploring, don't go inside. Ah! YouTube channel Magnus Rismir uploaded many videos exploring nature in Norway. But one day he uploaded a haunting discovery his friend made inside of this sketchy small house in the middle of the woods. Yes. can be seen just standing in the dark watching him as the man quickly leaves. Can you show me some kind of sign by moving, moving those items that you are moving it right now, aren't you? You are moving it. Did you just move the spice rack? Is that yes? Can you move it again, please? Please move the spice rack again. Can you move it? Is that is that a yes, sir? Can you move it, please? Oh shit! You're moving. Are you moving the curate? Are you moving the coffee maker? All right. There is. There are things moving behind me right now. Are you moving the items in my kitchen? I said yeah. Are you happy or are you angry? What? Are you angry? I said a yes. No. Are you moving things in my kitchen? <laughs> my concerns are right now. Knives flying. When I end this session, are you gonna stop messing with my knives in my kitchen? Yes. 
Show me a sign. Move something. Move something in here. Move something and let me know that you're still here and that you can hear me. I would like you to not move the knives anymore. Can you please not move the knives anymore? I don't want a knife flying in the house. Oh, shit. Are you moving the coffee maker? Oh, shit. Okay, I'm ending this. Okay. Okay, so I was in my room. I just heard a loud ass fucking bang, and I know I have to record this so someone can believe me. <sighs> Hello? What the fuck? That's my sister's dog. Um. What the fuck? Fuck that dude! Is that your horse? Do you like playing with the horse? What the hell? Is that your horse? Do you like playing with the horse? I feel like this is like a child's spirit in this room. And it oddly got actually cold. 